Welcome to PUBG Playbook. In this episode, we dive into the sometimes calm, sometimes extremely chaotic mid game of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. A lot of what happens between the third and the sixth circle oftentimes depend on what area of the map the circles move towards. Some areas make for easy wide rotations, while others can force multiple teams through choke points in order to get into the newly revealed circle. To better explain this, let's look at what happened during the third game of the semi-finals at the PUBG Global Championship. With the second circle popping in a very unusual southeastern position down towards Milta Power, teams were all rushing to try and claim a territory for themselves. But because the terrain only allowed for safe passage with vehicles in two separate locations, it made for a very chaotic traffic jam where multiple teams lost players. This is why choke points are normally avoided by most teams, but unfortunately sometimes the game has its way of forcing you through them anyway. Another term, which when set can make any top tier PUBG team shake their pants, is hard shifts. The concept is simple, a hard shift is a newly popped circle that shifts the area of play to any corner of the previous circle, hence hard shifting towards the edge of the previous circle. Teams have different ways of dealing with tough circle shifts, but one rule of thumb that works quite often is that if you want to avoid conflict and you're caught on the wrong side of the circle, you want to rotate to the far end of the new circle, meaning all the way around the edge of the previous circle, and sometimes even taking a bit of blue damage along the way. As long as you avoid going through the middle of the previous circle where many teams would have gone to take center positions before the next circle shift, you should be fine. We see an example of this if you hop over to day number 3 of the semi-finals of the PGC. A freak of freaks fatal find themselves on the southern side of the second circle hoping that the next one will move south towards them. Unfortunately, that's not the case. With the teams being forced up to the northeastern side of the map, Fatal realized something. If they rotate quickly and far enough to the east, even going into the blue, they will be able to avoid the choke points other teams are forced into and instead enter the circle on the northeastern side. By doing this, they managed to avoid the clustered confrontations in the Asnaya and with great awareness and great teamwork, they earned themselves a second place finish. Another example of avoiding the hard shift took place during day 2 at the semi-finals. As the third circle pops, 4AM technically do not have that far to go to the circle, but they are well aware that taking the direct route could mean trouble. First of all, they haven't had a chance to scout forward, so they don't know where the enemy teams are located. Second of all, the terrain they would be driving through would involve crossing over a mountain, which would not only take time, but also leave them vulnerable while driving uphill with limited speed. Last but not least, they know that in the mid game, most teams try to avoid those main roads on Miramar, and having seen where the next circle is located and having heard a lot of teams to their west, they figure that taking the path over the mountain would force them into a bottleneck with all the other teams trying to get further north, which in the end would create a choke point and limit their chances of winning. So, by traveling all the way through El Asaha and taking a bit of damage from the circle, not only do they dodge what ends up becoming a massive choke point, they also reach the destination faster than they would have had they crossed the mountain as they were driving both bikes and Murados, which we all know are great vehicles for maintaining high speeds on flat terrain. In the end, they finish in a third place with 8 kills good enough for a total of 13 points, while all the other teams taking that mountain path earlier, well, they end up dying outside the top 8. Now, I'm not saying that you have to rotate all the way around the map every time you find yourself on the wrong side of a circle shift, but if you're the type of team that prioritizes having some space to move around and not be squeezed in between enemy teams, look for options that allow for you to rotate to the opposite side of the circle, as that will oftentimes be the area with the fewest enemies around. See you all next week where we hop into the firefights of the PUBG Global Championship Grand Finals to find out what it takes to close out a game and bring home those juicy chicken dinners. I'm Toby, and thanks for watching PUBG Playbook.